Today we are going to see how to get lots of flowers on Kalanque. Kalanque is a great flowering plant that start to bloom at late winter and in my place they keep blooming till April. Many of my viewers inform me that their plants don't bloom that well and that's why I decided to do this video. Before starting, I have a request and that is please consider subscribing if you are new to gardening a bit. Here you can see I have collected few plants from nursery. They are also a bit expensive plant and the wholesale price was 150 rupees. So first thing that I am going to do is growing more than a single plant in one pot. Of course you can also grow one plant in one pot. But if we grow more than one plant we are almost done with our 50% of works as this way pot is going to look much fuller in short time. I am selecting one 10 inch pot. On second, please try to use a clay pot instead of plastic pot. We can definitely use a plastic pot, but clay pot has some advantages like it doesn't hold the water for much longer time. As Kalanque is succulent, we want to use a pot that dry out much faster. Third important thing is to use a good potting soil mix and for that I am doing it this way. Garden soil 30%, vermicompost 25%, Coco peat 25% and rest 20% is perlite. Soilless media also works well and in that case you can take 4 different components in equal part. First part is sand, second one is coco peat, third one is vermicompost and last one is perlite. I have provided you 2 best ways to prepare the soil mix for Kalanque and please feel free to use the one you prefer. Select anyone but please mix them well before using. Alright, next we need to report our plans. Please also don't skip the video as fourth step is the most important one. Here I am going to add few components. The first one is PK fertilizer and it's high in phosphorus and potassium. This works really well with Kalanque and many other plants. If you don't have it, it's okay and you can use other brand which has more P and K elements. Adding 1 teaspoon that means 5 grams. The second component is flower booster from trash basket and those would be 5 grams. Basically it contains all the micronutrients and instead of this you can use any other fertilizer that contains the micronutrients. Finally the last component is 20 grams of neem cake powder which is a slow release fertilizer and it's also going to provide the NPK. Please note that I am adding all these components at the bottom part of the pot. This way plants are not going to reach this area very fast and as the roots grow they would be getting all the nutrients. Almost done with repotting and next I should water my plants but I am not going to do it as you have seen that the soil in the root ball was totally wet. The nursery people have also used soilless media and most probably they have used only coco peat and compost. You are going to see when I would be watering my plants for the first time. This is after 6 days and we can see that the topsoil is dry. Today I am going to water my plant for the first time and please always wait and let the top 2 inches soil dry out before watering. Let's take a look at the final result. So guys it's the result after 45 days and we can see that plants are blooming quite well. I have reported more plants the similar way and on this plant I can see lots of new buds too. I have shown you the most simple way and I believe you can do the same thing. I also know you have some questions in your mind like how often to feed the plants. Well we can repeat the same fertilizers once in 30 days. 
but even if you don't do it's okay and this is the same thing i am going to do on second whatever the light requirements i am keeping all the plants in my balcony itself and they are getting the direct sunlight from around 2 pm to 3 30 pm during blooming stage whole day of sunlight is not recommended and you can also keep only in bright area if you see any petal burning issue or if the blooms are getting faded then please avoid keeping your plants under direct sunlight i am not getting any issues as current temperature in my place is somewhat low and it's around 20 to 22 degrees celsius at daytime and nighttime it's 12 to 14 degrees celsius it's the february month and good thing is there are many beautiful plants that start to bloom from february onwards for example sun pepper vine very very attractive color and quite easy to grow i already have one detailed video about how to grow sun pepper vine in pots and if you are interested then please check out this video thank you very much for watching have a great time and enjoy